you learn in engineering school, you start designing something, and then you go to build it, and it's like, oh, I can't build this. So you go back to the drawing board and figure out how to design something you actually can build. What we're gonna set up here is the infusion. This mold here uh, actually is gonna mold three parts. It's gonna mold two wing skins and then a leading edge. This is what's called our layup schedule. You remember I talked about the fiber coordinate system? Keep this in mind, the zero degree direction is like the length of the cloth, 90 degree is the width. Unidirectional, we have all the fibers running in one direction, so it's all the strength and stiffness in one direction. I'm just gonna round that to 1,200 just to make it a nice round number. So we need 1,200 grams of mixed epoxy. Yep, ready? Okay, here we go. So kind of what we did with the infusion, you start at 0% here, it's a liquid, and then somewhere around like 5% of cured, it starts to gel, right? It starts to, to thicken up to the point where it will no longer infuse into the part. There it is. Okay. At the end of the day, we don't really care so much about like necessarily stronger or lighter. What we really care about as the person flying this aircraft or someone operating an airline, uh, we want performance. We want to do things with these machines. So we want to fly higher, fly faster. We want longer range, shorter takeoff and landing, longer lifespan, reduce operating costs. These are all enabled by going to composite parts. 